Good everybody, it's your boy, Sir House of Jazz, 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 back again with another one for you, and this time we have a one, two, three, classic. <laughs> All right, so we have Street Life, uh, Mr. Joe Sample, if y'all know, he's one of the writers of the song and of course a member of the group, The Crusaders, but this song is better known as being performed by the lead singer uh, who did the leads on this song which is miss randy crawford so um i like to give a shout out to my new friend you get that mr man's black he he should get that from that last email he sent <laughs> all right so thank you man i definitely appreciate that and um we're in the key of f minor and it's not super duper duper hard but you want to have to know what you're doing on this one so let's jump right into it all right so your introduction you have You have that chord progression. It's G minor 7 over C, double C on the left hand, G, B flat, D, F on the right hand. Move everything up a half step. Everything goes up a half step. So now you have an A flat minus 7 over D flat. So double D flat on the left hand, A flat, B, E flat, G flat. Now you're going to kind of like, it's like almost jumping a whole step. You want to do D flat over E flat. Okay, so double E flat on the left hand, D flat, F, A flat on the right hand. And you can add this D flat if you want right there. Just, you know, add an extra E flat. And then you want to come out with D over E. Okay, D major over E. So double E on the left hand, D, G flat, an A on the right hand. Okay, so you have just like that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So then in the intro, you're just going to um, play these two chords. You have your F minor seven, double F on the left hand, C, E flat. A flat, and you can always include another F right here if you would like. Not a problem. F minor seven. Uh, you can do B flat minor seven minor eleven. It's the only difference is just this E flat right here. So let's take a look at the chord. Double B flat on the left hand, right hand. You have a D flat major chord. D flat, F A flat, and if you decide to add the E flat. It just makes it a minor 11. They both sound good. Just bounce between the both of them. Okay, so you have. And 
And I'm not saying that's the exact way the bass is played, but I just went. So all I'm doing is just double F, 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 F. <laughs> B flat. I'm not saying that's how, you know, like I say, if you're playing with a band, you don't need to do any of that off your left hand. You can just, you know, just lay on the, your left hand. Don't even have to use your left hand, to be honest with you. If you've got a good bass player, you can almost do the song with just one hand and let the bass, you know, but anyway. So your entire intro <laughs> is. Um, <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Okay, that's the whole intro. Now, as you go into the verse, you're going to hit those same two F. You're going to hit F minor seven in the B flat minor seven or 11, however you play it. You're going to do that again. So stay stay right there. Keep bouncing your left hand if you want. So this go street life. This is where Randy comes in. Da, 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 da. So you hit that two. So you hit your F minor seven again. Then you do your D flat over B flat, a.k.a. B flat minor seven or 11. Then you want to move to C minor seven. Once the verse comes in, once Randy is singing, you want to go to C minor seven, double C on the left hand, B flat, E flat, G. And then you want to go back to F minor seven again. So that's double F left hand, C, E flat, F, A flat on the right hand. And then do all that again. So it literally hit the F minor seven again. So you hit it two times. And then you want to go back to your B flat minor 11 or minor seven to your C minor seven again. Okay, so, so far we're just repeating chords right now. All we're doing is repeating chords. Then back to your F minor seven again. Okay, so that's your verse. Okay, so we got street life. Sha da 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 da. Street life. Da 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 da. Street life. Da 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 da. Street life. Da 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 da. Okay, now you on the pre-course, and that's when you got. Da 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 da. Okay, so the first half of the pre course now the pre course is going to be broken into two different pre courses. You have the pre course that you play after the first ending or after the first verse, and then the pre course halfway through switches after the second verse is done. So let's go through how it's done after the first verse has been sung. So you're going to hit your B flat minor seven. I'm doing a different inversion now of it. Double B flat on the left hand, A flat, B flat, D flat, F on the right hand. Then all I'm doing is just taking my left hand, move it over to E flat. So B flat minor seven over E flat. Okay. Then I'm gonna move to a C minor 11. So that's double C on the left hand. You know, I just wanted to make it real fat right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> G. B flat, C if you like, <laughs> E flat, and F. Okay, give it a nice little fat. And then you wanna go to F7, F, C, E flat, left hand, F, A, C, E flat, right hand. And then you have, you wanna hit your B flat minus seven again. Then you're going to take your left hand, move it over to E flat. So B flat minor seven over E flat. Okay, just like we just did earlier, but this time you're going to land on A flat major seven. That's double A flat on the left hand. G, C, E flat. Now keep in mind those chords, those chords never change no matter which pre-chorus you are playing. Those set of chords never change. So let's look at that one more time, and then I'm going to show you what where it does change between the first verse and the second verse. So you got... Okay, now after the first verse, this is what you're going to play. You're going to turn that A flat major 7 to A flat minor 7, double A flat on the left hand, a flat, B, 
E flat, G flat. And if you want, you can just keep that uh, A flat minor seven and just put it over D flat. You can do it that way, or you can just go straight down to a D flat nine. So if you wanna do the D flat nine route, double D flat on the left hand, F, A flat, F, E flat. So, you know, like I said, you can either just A flat minor seven and just like that, just move your bass over to D flat, or you can go, you know what I'm saying? I kind of like that, you know, it's, it's slightly different. It's almost the same chord. Um, well, yeah, the only difference is um, the F, the G flat. When it's a minor seven, you have a G flat. When it's a D flat nine, just have the F. That's up to you. Let's keep moving. Okay. <laughs> and then you want to go to G flat major nine, double G flat on the left hand, A flat, B flat, D flat, and F on the right hand. And then you want to you want to, you, you want to go to. Uh, I know it says G diminished seven is really half diminished. And half diminished chords are you, you can also call flat five. So I'm gonna call this a G minor seven flat five so that there's no uh confusion between the real diminished because a G diminished seven chord is really that's really a G diminished. As you notice on the screen, it still says that's a diminished seven. Right here, this is really even though it doesn't say it, it's a half diminished, so also known as a G minor seven flat five. So if you're looking at the chord sheet, that's what you'll see. All right, so that's double G on the left hand. G, B flat, D flat, F on the right hand. Then you're going to go to your B flat minor seven again. We've played this a couple of times. Double B flat left hand. A flat, B flat, D flat, F on the right hand. Take your left hand, move it over to E flat. E flat minor seven over E flat. Okay, then you want to come back to your A flat major seven. Double A flat on the left hand. G, C, E flat on the right hand. And then you want to do a C seven sharp nine. That's what that question mark. I still never understand this software why it doesn't just say sharp nine, but put a question mark. But that's all it is. C seven with a sharp nine. Double C on the left hand, E, G, B flat. You can add the C again if you like. And then your sharp nine is just E flat. You know what I'm saying? That's the regular C nine. And then all you do it is just raise it up a half step. Sharp nine, okay? Okay, so that second half of the pre-course is... That's how you do it. So I right, let me play the entire pre-chorus with the first ending. The entire pre-chorus. So you have. First ending. Then go back to the verse. Street life. Da 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 da. Street life. Da 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 da. Street life. Da 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 da. Street life. Da 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 da. Now you go to the pre-chorus again. Now the remember I said the first half of the pre-chorus remains the same. So once again, you'll do, I'm not going to spell it out because I've already spelled it out earlier, but I'll just play it real quick. So the first half will be, I'll play it slower. Okay, well, I gave you that earlier. Now this time, uh, this is how it ends after the second verse is different. So you're going to do this. Okay, that's how it ends the second time. So I call this 
on the chord sheet, you'll see pre-chorus, which is the first chords that never change. Then you'll see pre-chorus first ending. That's what I just showed you. Then under that, you'll see pre-chorus second ending. That's where I am right now if you're looking at the chord sheet, okay? All right, so the second ending, you want your first chord is going to be a D flat minor 7, double D flat on the left hand, A flat, B, D flat, E on the right hand. All you really have to do is just take your left hand, move it over to G flat. And that's really a G flat uh, 7 with a suspended second and a suspended fourth, okay? So uh, on a chord sheet, I just said suspended fourth, but it's, it's, all, it's all the same. And then you want to go to, not quite the same, but it gives you the same. Anyway, next chord is <laughs> B major 9, double B on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, uh, G flat on the right hand. Then you're going to take that major 9 to B minor 7. B minor 7. So keep the double B on your left hand. And now you have A, B, D, F sharp. Take your left hand. Move it over to E. So that's a B minor 7 over E. And then you want to go to A major 7. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, A major 7 is double A. On the left hand, A, D flat, E, A flat. And then you're going to um, come out of it like you did with the other ones. Well, almost the, the same way. Then you're going to go to your B flat minus 7, double B flat on the left hand, A flat, B flat, D flat, F on the right hand. Take your left hand, put it on E flat. B flat minor 7 over E flat. And then you want to hit your A flat major 7 again, which is double A flat on the left hand. G, C, E flat on the right hand. Okay, so that's how you do the second uh, ending. So let's just play the second ending by itself. Okay, and let me explain this. So it's almost like you're doing triplets, almost like the chord is like it's almost like one, two, three. One, two, three. Then you got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you got one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. That's how you play. Uh, that's that's a different rhythm from how you played the first ending, pre chords first ending. So look at that one more time. So you have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It took me a minute to get there. I was like, well, hold on, wait, man. I'm confused. I'm conf and I was like, oh, I get it. I see what they did. So now let me play the entire pre chorus second ending now from so from the first half right into the second half now the entire pre-course second ending the entire part So that's how that goes. You can rewind it and study it. Now you got what I call the bridge, where she goes, street life. Uh, that's not right. Uh, street life. Yeah, that was right. Da, sa, da, 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 da. Street life. Sa, da, 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 da. Then she goes to street life. Sa, da, 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 da. Street life. Sa, da, 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 da. Okay, so that part right there. So you have a E major 7, double E on the left hand. And on your right hand, you have E, A flat, B, and D flat. Uh, no, you don't. E flat. What am I talking about? E flat on the top. Technically, we're in the key of um, like E or C sharp minor. But instead of going up there and clicking 
they switched how the notes appear on here just to have to go right back and put them back to the flat i'm just i'm just going to use the flat names technically we switched the key right here but it doesn't stay in this key it actually goes back to f minor again but anyway okay so so e minor seven and then what you want to do is do a b7 over e flat so that's double e flat on the left hand a b if you like e flat and g flat on your right hand then you want to do d flat minor seven sorry well no do minor nine yeah that's what i was doing minor nine so that's double d flat on the left hand e a flat b e flat and then you can do a b7 chord by itself so you can do it in this inversion double b on the left hand g flat a b e flat or you can always jump back to this inversion of b7 doesn't matter which one you use it's up to you which is a b e flat g flat okay so you're going to rock those chords a second time so do those same chords again now you're going to switch the key and we're basically going to f major now and you want to do um so now you, what you want is a um and i said c sharp minor really that's um well anyway don't worry about it uh, <laughs> we're going to go to f major you might want to say it's d minor it's the same key signature so anyway they're in um they're relative to each other so you want to do f major seven double f on the left hand c e a on the right hand then you want to do a c7 over e so that's double e on the left hand and all you really need for that seven is you got the b flat c e if you like you can put the you can put a g right here to make it full or you can put the g up there that's up to you but you can actually stop with just a B flat C and E. Okay. D minor nine. That's dad face, y'all. Um, D A D on the left hand. That spells dad. Right hand spells face. F A C E. You might not need this A. It might be too bassy. So take take the A out if you need to. But that's your D minor nine. And then you want to do your c7 and i already showed you two different ways of playing your c7 chord um yeah double c on the left hand and you can either do e g b flat and c or you can take this e and put it right there okay you can even take this g put it right there if you look on the screen all those chords are c7 so you choose which one you want to do okay <laughs> and then you want to do your f major seven again same way we played it do that again then do the c7 over e whichever way you played it i'm not going to go through all those different inversions again you choose how you how you did it the first time and then this time you're just going to come to a d minor seven this time double d on the left hand and then you have A, C, D, and F on the right hand. So um, then you go down to a breakdown, but let's play the bread. So you got street life, sha da 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 dee, street life, sha da 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 da. Then you got street life, sha da 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 da, street life, she da dee 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 dee. Then you want to go to okay so after that i call this on the chord sheet i didn't know what to call it so i just said it's a breakdown so this is how it goes it goes okay so all those those two chords that you're playing between you have a um sorry you have a b flat seven sus four double b flat on the left hand f 
A flat, E flat on the right hand. And then you wanna um, hit A flat major seven twice. Okay, so that's double A flat on the left hand. G, C, E flat on the right hand. Hit it twice. And then go right back to your B flat seven sus four. And you go, and this is, so those are the only two chords on the breakdown. That's the only two chords. So you go to two, three, four, one, play it again. Two, three, four, again. Two, three, four, then. And then this time, do not go back to the B flat seven sus four play the intro again okay so you just you literally play the first four chords that i already showed you the first four chords i showed you you just play that again so that was that was your g minor over c i'll call them out one more time so you don't have to go all the way back to the beginning of the video i'll be nice all right double c on the left hand g b flat d f on the right hand take everything up a half step so that's a flat minor seven over d flat double d flat left hand a flat b e flat g flat then you want to do a d flat over e flat chord double e flat on the left hand d flat f a flat and you can always add this i'm um, nine right there or the second uh suspended second and um oh yeah and then d over e d major over e double e on the left hand d uh g flat a on the right hand and then you literally right back at the beginning of the song again and they literally go through like that that's there's no other chords it basically goes through the song i think randy after the second verse she sings three life Street life, da 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 street life, sorry, street life, da 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 And then after that, it's like instrumental. It's like Joe Sample starts killing the piano with solos. And then I think it's a saxophonist that comes in. And then she comes back in on that bridge again, you know, street life. She'll come back in, da 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 da. But everything else, it basically follows the exact same order of the whole song. It's like playing the whole song again. So um, that's it right there. So hopefully that helps you out. I know it's a 28 minute video, but it, it um, I believe it warranted all 28 minutes because it was. I wanted to make sure that I explained every section of the song. It can be tricky. If you're not careful, it was tricky for me for the first couple of minutes, too. So, <laughs> all right. So I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.